Cardio Tech, specializing in electrophysiology equipment, was started more than 30 years ago by Professor Hein Vellens and his fellows at the University of Maastricht. Sometime later, Cardio Tech developed into a professional company focusing on ease and speed of use, reliability, quality of signal, miniaturization, and independence from any specific PC configuration. Dr. Pedro Brigada was one of the first fellows working alongside Professor Vellens at the University of Maastricht. This uh, clinical electrophysiology started, uh, in fact, in 1967, simultaneously in Amsterdam and uh, in Paris. There were the first, uh, let's say, experimental studies, uh, you know, in uh, animals, but also then they started to uh, perform the first electrophysiological studies in men. And then uh, this... Uh, uh, you know, this very primitive uh, type of electrophysiological investigations uh, continue to improve in the next years. Uh, this, um, basically, let's say, around uh, the late 70s, electrophysiology as we know it today, uh, without, of course, ablation uh, started. Well, at that time, I was very happy that, uh, you know, I was one of the fellows at the uh, University of Maastricht with Professor Hein Wellens. We were there, you know, um, at the very uh, start of this new electrophysiology area in the in the 80s. That's the time of, you know, of a lot of discussions, a lot of developments, and it was a very interesting time to be there. This branch of cardiology developed to mainly, if not only, diagnose and treat arrhythmias, which are disorders of the normal rhythm of the heart. The EP device is uh, the most important tool we have for the diagnosis of arrhythmias, because basically, uh, by the means of catheters, which are little um, devices that we put inside the heart, we can read uh, the, the different electrical informations in various parts of the heart on one screen live. Cardiotech's EP Tracer, aka the Maastricht EP system, is an integrated amplifier stimulator designed for EP and hemodynamic procedures. It's the result of almost 30 years' experience in EP. The EP Tracer is available in three models. All have 12 lead surface ECG, six auxiliary channels, of which two are used for invasive blood pressure, and all models have a built-in two-channel cardiac stimulator. The benefits of a built-in stimulator, obviously, are, are actually easy to, to, to uh, figure out because simply we have one, one single um, device instead of having two, that is a reader and a stimulator. So that makes, from a space point of view and from a user-friendly point of view, it's much more uh, useful. The difference between the models is the EP Tracer 38 has 20 intracardiac channels, the EP Tracer 70 has 52, and the EP Tracer 102 has 84 intracardiac channels. The main system characteristics of Cardiotech's EP Tracer are its excellent signal quality, its small but sophisticated design, its versatile stimulator controlled with the same keyboard and mouse as the recording system, it's easily transported due to its reduced size, it uses common hardware, it's fast and easy to install, it requires very little maintenance, and free software is available to review patients offline. These systems can also be mobile, and so obviously we have in our centre more than one lab, and some labs are dedicated to, to, to other uh, disciplines, but obviously if we have a very tough programme, we can, uh, we can do ablations in these labs, which are normally dedicated to other d disciplines, uh, th these cat labs, by just moving the, the mobile stimulator in that cat lab. And that is uh, an enormous advantage. The EP Tracer is not only available as a mobile or stationary system, it's also the only truly portable, full-blown system worldwide. This allows the physician to carry the system from one hospital to another which means he can work at multiple locations. So with the connecting laptop fitting in here and the EP Tracer fitting in here, it's so compact it can even be carried as hand luggage onto an aeroplane, which means that distance is never an issue.